So, I have no idea what happened. The audio is working again. I don't know why it did that. It, all I needed to do was restart OBS. I just turn, turn it off and turn it back on again. It's true what the IT crowd says, eh? Have you tried turning it off and on again? You, you tried turning it off and on again? Um, anyway, sorry about that. We're back. I can now in peace and with good confidence that the audio is not going to screw up on me. Um, there we go. Super, super sorry for the inconvenience there, guys. I don't know why I did that. Right, okay. So as you can see, in the top corner there, um, the top left hand, left hand corner, I've got five bits of health and six magic things now. You'll also notice that we've got three different coloured abilities as well now. Like a, they're usually just like just white abilities like that, white or grey. But I found three places in my sort of like run around side mission sort of scavenging stuff, um, and and they apparently upgrade your abilities. So the the grappling hook, the hook shot, allows you to follow up with a with a cool like swift attack. The bombs no longer damage me, which is great. And the arrows can be charged up to like a to like a, a more powerful shot. You hear? Ding ding. I don't have the magic one yet though, unfortunately. Um, I did find the best weapon in the game as well. This uh, cool sword. Um, Reaper's Great Sword. An oversized Reaper Sword which weighs twice as much as a standard issue blade. And this deals damage at the expense of agility. Previous owner of this must have been very large. So the hammer was great. I really enjoyed the hammer. But this is just an overall better... Better weapon. Overall. Because, uh, as you can see, the swing time is exactly the same. And the amount of swings that you get is exactly the same, but it does more damage. Damage 1.25, range 3. Damage 1.2, range 2.5. So it's just an overall better weapon. Um, and we've got our uh, stats. Where's our stats? Ah, oh, right. Wait. Um, I, I put my strength right up to the top, so like, I, like I've got maxed out uh, strength now. So, this is where we left off in the last stream. We we had uh, we had just seen these guys, and they were telling us to uh, go ahead and you know finish it. Finish it. And I was worried about where to go and what to do. Oh, well, he's a Scotsman guy. Here we go. Phew, it's uh, quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased this punch, though, eh? I mean, a secret crow society up here in the mountains, who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast atop the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song may be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. It's pretty good. So uh, I've more songs than I've written. I've written parody songs. Silly, silly parody songs. Right. Okay. That's the Beast Slayer. We are not going there yet because there's other stuff to do. Frozen Canyon. Exercise caution, eh? I'm really glad the uh, the hook shot doesn't. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I see what they mean. Whoa. Whew. 
we should absolutely max that out. Uh, so... You know what? Oh, that thing there. So let's do that. Oh no. No, <laughs> okay. This is going to be a challenge. Oh no, ah, there you go. Well, that's, uh, that's how you don't do that. Okay, so that there, and then that there. Um Okay. So ah. right. Is that all? Is that it? Okay. Hoo 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 hoo! Oh man. Cool skeleton. Right, I have to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Is this? Can we? Oh, baby. Who's the legend now? Oh, yeah. Yes, we did it. I think we've got like one more to get after this one. The ancient shrines offer. No, oh, it's, it's maxed out. Yes, there we go. Cool, so we've got six bits now. So we are in terms of our... Oh. So how do we get away from here then? How do we get past this? Oh, it's this way. Nice. So in terms of our uh, our character's growth, like in terms of his stats, like magic and hit points, this is it. This is as, this is as high as it goes. So I presume we're pretty much near the end game now. Oh no! There's a keyhole thing there. We should blow that up. Should absolutely go back and blow that up. <clears throat> um, I'm aware of an audio crackle issue, by the way. Um, it was pretty bad when I was previewing my stream, well, pre previewing my output earlier um, before I started. So I'm going to try my best to try and get that all sorted up, sorted for next time. Um, I can't normally shiny medallion. You're a real winner. Um, I've been aware of the crackle for a while. Um, but this like when I was when I was previewing my my output earlier, it was kind of bad this time, like really bad this time. So I am aware of it, and I and I do plan on a uh, you know unhooking everything and cleaning it all up and all that and you know trying to trying to fix the issue if if possible so uh, apologies in the meantime
I wonder. Oh, you can do that. Oh, if that's the case, then wait, 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 wait. If that's the case, I've been seeing like a total bunch of like coal ember fire things. I apologize for the back and forth, the up and down like a yo-yo. See, that's one of them there. There's one there. There's like eight there. So can we do this? Nope. Wait, what? Oh, you can. Why is that not working? Huh. Or maybe it is, and we can only do certain ones. Huh. I'll come back to that later if it's if that's the case. Let's just let's just properly continue. Sorry. Man, we're off, we're off to a bad start today, eh? Oh, uh, one other thing I was going to show is the progress, the, the items that we've got. We collected a, uh, I collected a fair few items on my, on my lonesome the other day there, when I was uh, after stream, because I was finding, you know, new things. So, just showing you my progress. Oh baby, there you go. That is what I'm talking about. I wonder what my... Oh, it's 781. So we'll activate that, but we'll not go through it yet. Oh, the music. Oh, that's so good! Whoever done the music for this, you are an absolute legend. Tell you something that uh, that sword is pretty, pretty good. Like anything? See if there's a shortcut. Ow. Ow. Sweet. Oh, yes, there you go. That's both of them. This is so good. R really, ab like, 
No, no joking, no messing around. This is for. Oh man. I was about to say something incredibly insulting there when it was meant to be a compliment. <laughs> I was about to say, for an indie game, this is amazing. But you know what? No! This game's amazing. This game's just amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome. The atmosphere, the world design, the music. I mean... Again, the only thing that I can think of that's like maybe a negative towards it is just the idea that there's no like the the navigation in the game's a bit a bit difficult because it's uh, because there's no map. I'm gonna plant this seed first. Oh, no, oh goodness me. And I thought I could. I thought I thought I could uh, grapple over. Um, let's just use this the now. What's the Scotsman saying? Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather's never deterred me before, especially with the beasts so close now. Wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crows said, it sounds like a proper monster, all hairy and wild. Can't wait to see you fight it. Cool. Okay. So we're, like, we, we clearly... If that's the correct route, we clearly went the wrong way before. So I'm going to go back this way. Was that for? Why is that there? Is that literally there just to maneuver around? Like when you're fighting the guys that were here? Huh. Anyway, let's go this way. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, it's another one of those doors, man! I've got a funny feeling this game's going to go like a little bit longer, <laughs> longer than what I thought. It's like I've never been in those doors yet. See, and that's what I get for not checking everywhere first before moving on to the right bit. And that's why the navigation's a bit iffy, because if I had a map then I'd be able to see that there was nothing past that. What is that? That looks like a way back down. To me. To me that looks like a way back down. Okay, let's do it. Let us continue. Go, 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 go. Out.
Ow. Oh. There we go. Perfect. And we can plant another seed. Oh, yeah. Oh. guy fell down. We kind of leave him behind. I don't want to kill him. Well. That's not entirely true. I went down to kill him. But if he didn't fall, I would have killed him up on the bridge. Oh. I thought for a second that was a place that I missed, but that's where I came from. Go, 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 go. There we go. Gotcha. That's another way back. So... I see, we've got to unlock this gate. But we've got to go around the long way to get to that. That's the way back down that we were talking about earlier. No, that's just his helmet. His head's still there. Oh, we cut his head off there for a sec. That would have been nightmarish. enough to get another rank in something now. Oh, baby. That's cool. This music is beautiful, man. How? I'm so impressed with this game. And I should have played it ages ago. I like, as, as soon as I seen that it was available on the PlayStation, I bought it. But I just, I never, I just never got around to it till now. I feel so... I feel so bad about that. 
Wait, 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 wait. Why is this another way to get up? Ah, I see. Oh, right, everybody come up here. Everybody get up here. guys up here Yeah. Oh no! Rolled into that guy's backpack thingy. Oh goodness me! Yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Nice and cheesy. Beautiful. How's that? Hidden thingy. What's this for? Nope. No idea why that would be a thing. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's continue on. The, the way the music ended as well. Oh my goodness. Who made this game? Oh, baby. Let's see what the Scotsman sent it. This is it! That's the beast! Oh boy, my heart is pounding! Are you gonna fight it? I'm gonna stay well out of the way and uh, take notes for my song. Good luck. I am gonna level up first. Let's go. So we can get our decks up, which will increase our attack speed and range. What is it? No, the charge their melee and ranged attacks faster. Increase the speed. Right. Okay. Oh, the the strength is the range. That's right. Their reach, as well as their reach. Okay. Raising this will give the re a reaper a greater base speed. Faster dodges and less cooldown between dodges. Sounds good. Yeah. I've only got a thousand, but I think the dodging is kind of paramount right now. Alright, so it was this one, was it? Betty's lair. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> My name is Betty. You will call me Betty. Hello. Hey up. Ah, oh, Betty. Oh. Ow. 
Ow. Sure. Okay. Ow. Rolled right over me. Ah! Rolled right over me again. Ow. Ah. Oof. <laughs> what a boss. Goodness me. You know what's good about this, though? No running back. It is literally... This is Elden Ring. This is the Elden Ring boss. Don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the thing. It's like, because Betty's so big, we've just got to rely on her, her speed. See. Be careful. Oh no. Man, it does not like me, I tell you. Ah! We got it! We got him! We did! It was the speed that was, see? The dodge rolling, man. Or agility, or... Dick, is it agility? Yeah, agility. So good. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, Feared as a wild, untamable beast, and to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. The music, man. Got a wee shiver up my spine. <laughs> what an incredible adventure this has been. Full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same. <laughs> Betty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. I get it. That's a, that's a funny joke. Betty and the Beast. That means the drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor, he was in love with the beast. Whoa, kind of feel bad for both of them now. Dead or heartbroken, which do you think's worse? They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm going to start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. No worries. I know the demonic soul's anger quelled, Reaper. May they find peace in death. Goodbye, Betty. So, what are we at? 795. We need a thousand for anything, so... Um, let's go back to the Stranded Sailor. So we can talk to... There he is. Hey there, May. Thanks again for the adventure. 
I've never seen anything like it before. And I got enough material to make what I think could be my magnum opus. Wanna hear it? Yes. Alright, here we go. The drunk crow did love a lass named Betty. But it turned out she was a big hairy yeti. The hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. But Betty the yeti got sliced into spaghetti. <laughs> and now we'll never see that wedding confetti. <laughs> Genius. So this guy uh, gives you secrets. Uh, it, it, tell, it tells you like all the places that you visited where the secrets are. Well, roughly where they are. Goodness, you've picked this island clean of secrets, as you have that bowl of fish viscera. I think it's funny as well that the the squid is the thing that's controlling the man. The man's like totally been brainwashed. The squid's like grabbed a hold of him and he's essentially like using him. <laughs> so I'm assuming the secrets that they mean are the are the like the, the health and magic pickups then. That guy just tells you where they are. Anyway. No no. I've uh, I've I've heard it. That's fine. So now that we've got all three souls now, we should be able to go back to that big giant raven thing, crow thing. So I think we go up here. Is it up here? I can't remember if it's Lost, Lost Cemetery. Yeah, the Grove of Spirits is the... That's the that's the very, very, very first place. The Lost Cemetery is the, the start of the game. The start of the main point of the game, like the big open area. Yeah, so we've just got to try and find our way. Is it straight up here, I think, maybe? Oh, okay, maybe not then. Oh. Whoa! What's with a huge grave? Oh, maybe now we can talk to the... The gravekeeper guy. What's the gravekeeper saying to it? There he is. You've certainly been keeping me busy. However, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. What is this? See, like, all these doors as well, man. All these, like, extra areas. I would absolutely love to find out like what all this extra stuff's for. Yeah, uh, no, it's not this one. Is it this way? I think this is it. Yeah, there it is. You did it. You're much stronger reaper than I. I could never have taken down these giant souls alone. Those giant souls alone. It's time, at long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. So that's death's door then. Oh no. A 
now to the other side. <laughs> Just kind of following in. This is it. This is the place beyond where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? <laughs> hello? Death. Are you death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just that mad ramblings of the free crows. Yeah, well, I guess it's, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know, I, I, I was, so if you didn't know it was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? I, no, sorry. We're here for the uh, another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us. Well, rude, but all right. I mean, what's a few more minutes of, <laughs> what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's door. Your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with a commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself. Then pick them up and take them be beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. But for the souls, they don't care. But for the living ones, they left behind. Wish I could let them know that dying isn't scary, it's just a cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. And one day a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. It was, while it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead, a lighthouse, on the shores of the ether, if you will. A return, in return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with, then with nothing left for, left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lord of, lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Each one agreeing, and in the end, in the end, to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the ether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current lord of doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, and that the lord had malfunctioned. The, the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. But the door to be reconstructed would require the touch of death to link the door to the ether. But after this new door was created and opened, the lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass into the ether. No death among the living. I've been here alone ever since. <laughs> Forgot what his voice is now. Sean Bean. Sure, like old old Sean old man Sean Bean. But my, f <clears throat> but my assigned soul, it must be here. 
It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the ether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So, there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. No, 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 no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades, centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. Since you're a little past your best before date. A little past your best before date. The Greek Crow. No, man. How did I know this was going to this is going to be something that happened? Eh? I had to. It's amazing how like it kind of looks like a hedgehog, and I love that. Look, ow! Oh, ho, ho, ho. amazing! I love it. Ow! Oh, no way. That's cool. Very cool. Oh. got me. I'm not going to be able to do this like- Ah! Dang it! Try again? Yes, please. Ow. This is so difficult. It's a totally different boss fight from the previous ones as well. I love it. So cool. Feel how close it was there as well. Ow. Ah. Whoa. I 
Dang it! No! Okay, right, just kill me. This is a very bad start, this one. Kill me! There you go. Okay. Sure. I should absolutely. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that's what they are. I see. Now! so close oh it was so close retry Yes. 
There's going to be a part two. Eh? <laughs> Whew. Can't tell you how much. <clears throat> can't tell you how long it's been since I, I felt a fresh breeze on my face. I saw well anything. You never appreciate something till it's gone, do you? Saw a lot of that in my job. But until your lord, uh, your lord of doors kicked, uh, locked me up, I never thought I'd, it'd apply to me. Sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to get or let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to reap your, having to reap him yourself. And sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you'd done me a huge favour, you crow. But it isn't quite over quite yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> because while the door has been destroyed, my powder is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? Won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss crawl, boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Head back to your... Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's... Get out of here then. Nope, that's not the way. It's down this way. Back over here. I think. Yeah, it's back down here. This way. Right this way. Yep, there it is. My fellow crows, we have arrived at the moment foretold long ago. Today death's door has been opened and death themselves have been freed once more into the world. Fear not, for this is not the end of days but the beginning of a bright new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for thousands of years and we crows played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs, we must accept our fates. We must reject those who led us into a future with no hope. It's time for the Lord of Doors' reign to end, and for us to return to the natural life cycle. Even as the world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these forest spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin, and the world will teem with new life. For that to happen, the final hours of the foretold day must play out as ordained. The crow that freed death will have to leave, will have to end the Lord of Doors' reign. Like everybody just sounds like Sean Bean. <laughs> it's cause Sean Bean's got a great voice. I have no doubt that you will complete your task, old friend. Have faith in yourself. Okay. Hey. <laughs> okay. So I think we're probably we're in the end game now. Is this like one more dungeon or is it like are we just kind of heading towards the guy? That's definitely a door there, eh? That, there's a door that's definitely going to end here. Or wind up there. Here he is. I've been watching you, young crow. I never really thought it would come to this. Yet here we are. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them and trained to take over their duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day which we will die. 
my predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted tyrant, obsessed with rules and order, how things had to be. The old fool never even gave me a name, can you believe that? How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? If every moment of your existence revolved around its ending? I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable, but I cannot let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. So, young crow, are you ready to fight for your life, as I am for mine? Bah. Ow. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's pretty cool, like, whoa. What are you doing going in there? Oh, this is cool, like, wow. <laughs> this is so, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. This is so cool. No! Oh, such an idiot. Chun man, that's the chin. Die here, like. Hey, go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Have I got to do this whole thing again now? I, oh, no. No, quite. No, quite. There, there is checkpoints. That's good. Not too bad. 
it's still kind of kind of difficult to Do it. I like how he's doing like the total finger guns. <laughs> Better that time. Okay. another checkpoint now maybe oh no we've still got to do this bit dang it dang, okay go 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 oh please let there be a checkpoint Oh no! Ah, see? Ow. So the next, the, the final one's going to be the crow then? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my word. Right, okay. Is this it? Smash the bits. Is everybody dead or? Here he is. Yeah, everybody's gone. Wow. Okay. Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me? To repeat the same thing over and over? To, to what end? 
What's the point? If we all have to die eventually. Suppose I will never know. Because I will never die. Alright. Calm down, mate. I hope this is a checkpoint, by the way. <laughs> the Last Lord. Ah, oh, total metal version! With the chin! Ow. Yep, I thought so. It's all the. Oh! Oh, yeah, I remember these things. I keep forgetting he's got a punch. Like a backwards punch. Bring it. He's nearly there. What? <laughs> ah! Got him. That was greed though. I could have been hit by that bomb. Please, forgive me. <laughs> Just leave! Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage. The last Lord of Doors. To some, they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. They will be remembered for their part in the advancements of door technology. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world. and their unwavering determination to evade death, no matter the cost. What a game. So cool, man. I'm assuming that's it. I'm assuming this is the end. Their pursuits may have been unwise, but they will... <laughs> But the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say what any of us would have done, given the same choices as this lord? Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Their time in this world is over. <laughs> Guys, that was amazing! 
What a what a total fantastic game. Acid Nerve, David Fenn and Mark Foster. You guys are amazing, like. Music music and sound, David Fenn, man, music! Game design program and story writing and animation, Mark Foster. David Fenn, your music is phenomenal, by the way. Fritz Olsen, Sarah Morris, Juan Abad de la, Vera, la Riva. Graham Goring, Justin Chan, Fritz Olsen, Jenny Brewer. Oh. Total pothead with the little, the little guy inside him. <laughs> so good. What is with those big mysterious doors, though, man? I want to know what's... Uh, like... Was there planned content? Was there was there like more stuff? Is there a post game to this game? Is there more stuff to do after after you've defeated the the Lord of Doors? I have no idea. But you know what? That like see even if it was just that, if it was just like if that from start to finish was the experience of the game, that was a fantastic game. <laughs> so good, so good. Thank you to everybody involved in making this game because it is like it's just so fun and and like it's not it's not trying to take itself too seriously you know there is like a lot of levity and fun in there as well. Indigo Pearl, hey, brilliant! Oh look, Bennett, hey, brilliant man. Hey, Kimarang, are you moving? No way. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for the lurk. It was much appreciated. Is that oh, UK? UK guys. UK Games Fund. Thank you for playing. That was awesome. Where are you moving to, Kim? Kimmering? Kim? 